What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Steve from Printer Gang Investments, back with another video. And today, the market finally applied some pressure on us, man. Palantir got knocked down like 2.7 percent. You know what I'm saying? As you can see on my screen here, they finally applied some pressure to some of my options. The options I rolled from that profit profit a few days ago. I'm down 8% on that, you know what I'm saying? But we just chilling on that. Maybe if they knock it down a little more, we'll add to it or buy, but for now, we just chilling on that. Uh, as of right now, it's time of this recording. We're at 43.59. That SoFi call I sold yesterday actually bounced back today, so they slick shook me out, but it's all good. I sold that SoFi call that I had on this account I'm showing you. Um, bought a share of Palantir with the profits. Then I went and bought another SoFi call on my other account, one of my Robinhood accounts. I'll show you guys that one sometime too. And I didn't spend as much as I uh, had in the one I took profits on, so that's kind of like a roll. But we'll see what happens with that. Uh, my Ion Q call is finally getting hit up, as I expected, because, you know, I didn't buy it at the best technical entry, as I told you guys. But we only down 13% on that, so... Um, I would like for them to knock it down some more, maybe to like an order block or a fair value gap, some sort of technical entry, and we could add to that. And Rocket Lab is just still struggling. I don't know what's up with this Rocket Lab, people. But, you know, those are some of my call positions. So, let's get into the news for the day. So, the biggest news of the day is the whole super micro computer could be capped, people. And that is a big-ass deal. I ain't gonna lie. The whole super micro cap. Um, I made some money on Super Micro. I bought it in 2023. Back when it was 37, I rolled it all the way up. I took some profits. I held some. Looked like I shouldn't have held what I held, but it's all good. It's all good. So today, um, Super Micro's accounting firm, Ernst & Young, quit. They said they do not want to be associated with the earnings statements and balance sheet statements y'all guys putting out. That's a big red flag, y'all. And I'm the type of person who normally buys the dip, but we cannot be buying the dip on people saying the whole company's cap. If we miss that dip, we just miss that dip. Um, some people think that's going to affect the entire AI trade, but I seriously doubt that because SMCI is just a customer of NVIDIA. Um, they do a lot of manufacturing of the server racks, but people think that if super micro computer falls, a lot of that money could go to Dell. So on the overall AI trade, it's not that serious, but we need to watch that company because, you know, they're claiming cap. Um, if you guys know how to trade, this might be a big put opportunity. They might get delisted. We're going to see what happens. But um, in addition to that, as of the time of this recording, Meta and Microsoft just reported earnings. I mean, yeah, Meta and Microsoft just reported earnings. Microsoft actually beat. They did pretty good. They're not up that much. But I believe Meta might have missed on guidance. I got to check it some more. But they beat on uh, earnings and revenue. They probably missed on guidance. So they're down right now. That plus the Super Micro news. Um, plus AMD fell yesterday. Let me look at some of these other stocks, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, it might get a little real tomorrow, people. It might get a little real. Oh, look at that. I was talking pre-market. At the time of the recording, last time I checked, Meta was down 2%. Now they only down 0.14. So that's good. That's good. So the way I see this is um, it's not the best necessarily for the market, but it's not the worst. You know, we still haven't seen any major misses from like the Mag 7 type companies. You know what I'm saying? They still beating. They still beating. Um, everything's looking good on that end. So we're halfway through earnings season. The next big day is going to be Thursday because on Thursday we got um, Amazon and Apple reporting. Pray for me. Pray for me, people. I told you I got an Apple call that's been giving me hell. That one where I turned the 270 into 1600. And I took the 600. And I've been trying to flip the 1000. But they got me a 700. And. I don't know if people buy an iPhone 16 like that, so it might be Judgment Day on Thursday. I'm going to keep y'all updated. But so far, earnings season's going decent. We're having some surprises out here. Um, Super Micro wasn't earnings, but, I mean, the accountant resigning, that was kind of bad for the AI trade. AMD missed, but it's really because they're just, they just ain't NVIDIA. They're not keeping up like they're supposed to. And other news, Reddit just popped to all my traders who, like, 
messing with Reddit, Wall Street bets. You know I'm Wall Street bets OG, GameStop trader. Uh, Reddit went up 40% a day. They surprised everybody with their earnings. That's the type of play I wish I was in. You know what I'm saying? If I had some more money, I maybe would have gave it a shot. Not on earnings, but I've been seeing what's going on over there. But so far, earnings are looking good. Jobs report came out okay today. So we're still in a good sentiment. We're still in a good sentiment. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, other than Super Micro, I'm not seeing anything that's too messed up. But we're going to go on and do the technical analysis portion of this video. I'm going to go over Palantir and some other stocks. And we're going to decide what we're going to do, people. So first thing I'm going to do is we're going to pull up this Palantir on this daily chart. So me, I ain't going to lie, y'all. I got tempted to buy this one today. The only reason I did not buy this one today is because... I already got a lot of Palantir calls. I just rolled from them highs earlier this week. And I don't want to buy the first good entry on a dip, especially with earnings coming around the corner. Because, like, if we miss guidance or, God forbid, miss earnings, we're going down 20%. And if I do add, I want to add on a real dip. I ain't going to be greedy. But this was a decent dip. Um, we are at the first fair value gap right here. They're trying to break it. We got the uh, candle closed below it. It could bounce tomorrow. It might not. But this would be the first bounce point I would look at if anyone wants to load up there or they bought there. But like I said, it's still kind of high. The high is 45. It's only 43.50. What I would prefer, as you guys could see, is this area right here. This 41.70 all the way up to like 42.70 area. If it hits there, you might catch me showing y'all an update where I did some adding. Because I got a lot of support here. I got an order block here. We got an old fair value gap here. I mean, it got disrespected, but it worked. And I'm looking at the next level after that I would take. And, of course, if we get the tanking below there, it's game time on the long term. Um, 40 and below, especially this 36, 37 area. If we were to break this area, I would look at this 40. I don't know if I would wait till we get all the way down here. But... It's like if we break this area, like if we actually were to tank down here, we probably could do some falling because we don't have as much support to back us up. But those are just my thoughts on Palantir right now. I'm still waiting on earnings. You know what I'm saying? So I say next, let's look at, let's look at the QQQ. Let's look at the QQQ. Let's keep it, you know, whole market. So we got the QQQ on the daily. As y'all can see, I did some little trading, you know what I'm saying? Get in the comments if y'all ever want to see me do my futures trading side. I really be focusing on my uh, long-term, mid-term investors on this side. But I do some day trading too. But anyway, so we had a red candle on the QQQ. Like I said, probably caused by the AMD and the... Um, what AMD and the Super Micro situation. I hate Google. They did that to Google like that because Google, you know, they had a good earnings. But, you know, there's so much bullshit going on. They couldn't hold up the market. It's all good, though. Uh, we're falling into a big order block. We could bounce off of... Uh, yeah, it looks like we fell into a big order block we could bounce off of. It's like they're in a consolidation range, but it looks like they're finally trying to break out, hopefully. But all this could be used as support. I could really draw some levels here if I wanted. But, yeah, if we tank in here... Um, this would be a decent spot to load up for the medium to long term if we start tanking if you are bullish until we fall all the way here this is the futures chart i'll pull up the qqq anyone wants to see that but yeah qqq is holding up strong you know what i'm saying as y'all can see i got some new stuff on my watch list i got this ion q um i got this oaklo i'm watching this oaklo because everybody's telling us that this nuclear power side of ai could be another wave of money which makes sense because uh first it was super micro before they went cow then at the super micro we had the modine and comfort systems that was the air conditioning side of it vistra energy blew i missed that one man i missed vistra energy and now they're saying the nuclear energy side of the electricity for ai is going to come into play so i'm watching that heavy 
um, as you see, I'm showing y'all the art of like taking a position. Like I find out about a stock, I like a stock, but I don't buy it immediately. I watch it, I learn about it, see if it could pull back because we don't like to chase. Or you'll end up in a situation like y'all seen me live with Ion Q. I bought it high, so it's pulling back, but I only put 50 bucks in it, waiting for the pullback. But let's look at let's see let's look at nvidia too let's look at nvidia too man because nvidia you know that's one of the main stocks controlling the market right now you know they got earnings last but not least they're also at their highs in the consolidation zone for all my day traders this is kind of an annoying market i ain't gonna lie because everything's at the highs nothing's in the middle of the range we don't got that much resistance up top so there's only so many levels you can draw um Looks like they tried their fair value gap, but they holding it. They holding like all these areas: 139, 140, 141, 142. All those are basically high, so they're doing their thing. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna beat on earnings. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what their guy gonna do. I don't know if they slow down quarter over quarter and they get spanked like they did last time. But Nvidia's looking pretty good, man. Nvidia's looking pretty good. And last but not least, let's look at these. Cap ass motherfucking super micro man, they ain't dirty for that. Look at that, people. Straight off a cliff. Just opened up at 46, looks like, and went all the way down to 31. That is no good. That is no good. They are under the 200 EMA. Good lord. Yeah, super micro, they done fucked up. They done fucked up. That's a shame, too, because that was a nice stock back in 2023. That is a shame. They are actually, for all my. For all my technical traders, if you bout that life, they are damn near forming a double bottom down here at this very low level. But that's kind of some technical only stuff. But when we factor in a macro of the whole company might be capped, do I really want to bet on them bouncing? Like, I'm not saying from a technical point of view it couldn't work, but I mean, the news is the company might be capping. But, you know, that's it. That's just my sentiment for the market today. You know, we having our. Uh, bad news not good news but so far the news is pretty stable you know good jobs the bigger companies are beating earnings since I've been recording for y'all um, I got to correct myself because like I said earlier Amazon was down pre-market but that's how fast things move pre-market Amazon's like flat pre-market you know I'm gonna do some research when I get out this camera you know give y'all some updates you know what I'm saying but you know things are looking good so far we're gonna see what happens when the rest of this magnificent seven reports later this week this uh apple and amazon and pray for my apple call people please pray for my apple call but yeah we can make it through that no bad news this week i would say this would be a pretty good week and then we'll be heading to election season and palantir earnings i can't wait hopefully i make some money hopefully they don't knock me down thousands upon thousands of dollars but if they do it's all good you know i'm gonna bust you know i'm gonna bust my gun you know i'm about to dip you know what i'm gonna do but either way it's your boy steve from printer gang investments i'm gonna be back in the next video